25 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 84.1 kilograms. Representing Pancrase Jim and fighting out of Sweden. Put your hands together for Diego the Silencer. Fighting out of red corner, this man is a big star artist with a professional record of eight wins and one loss. He stands 184 centimeters tall and weighs already 84.1 kilograms. Representing KHK MMA in the magnificent kicking up a back rain and fighting out of Russia. Get it up. Here we go, Carrick. Me in event time. Ikram Alice Karov taking on the veteran Diego Gonzalez. Submission Savi versus Sambo Supremo. Diego moving his head very smartly. Moving in behind a tight jab. Stiff job from Alice Karov. Maintaining the distance well. Beautiful step and knee. Diego was very wisely moving away when that knee landed. Effective striking MMA is all about timing. Timing was off a little on that one. Gonzalez has fought at 155, 165, 170, now fighting at middleweight. This is a guy that just loves to get in there and fight, but right now he's being pieced up by that exquisite oh. job and an exquisite straight to follow up from Mikran Maskarov. Want to see Diego start to move that head side to side again. There he goes. It's what he's got to do and not stop. Alice Carroll in the white shorts looking very comfortable right now. If the silencer gets too focused on landing that jab back, he's going to get silenced. Already a little bit of roughing up, a little bit of blood on the face of the veteran Diego Gonzalez. Oh. Head kick from Alice Carroll. Really starting to mix up the strikes, showing just how well rounded he is as a mixed martial artist. Of course, five wins already by finish. Oh. Has Alice Karov. Oh! Alice Karov is already his oh. range perfectly. Huge knee from Alice Karov, landing out well right now. There's only so much of this Diego Gonzalez can take. Diego Gonzalez is a bad man, staying in it. Eyes focused on his opponent's tee. Switch head Looking kick. Looking to counter. This might just be the best Ikram Alice Karov we have seen in the Brave Arena. Looks loose, looks fluid, looks focused. Return to middleweight seems to be doing him the world of good right now, Kirik. Diego Gonzalez wisely keeping that head moving side to side. Coming in behind a stiff jab. Maybe look to set up getting in on a single. Crossing leg kick, but look at the, the fluidity of that lead hook. <laughs> Everything Alice Karov seems to throw is landing clean right now. Big overhand from Diego. The silencer comes back, shows the kind of power that gave him the name the silencer. I'd like to see Gonzalez try and close the distance, maybe initiate the clinch, because right now he is not winning in the striking realm. There was, there was an attempt at the outside single, but oh! he got pieced up for his trouble. Beautiful one, two. Right, maybe on short, short, short time now. Alice Karov looked to Deke Larkin as if to say, do you want me to follow up? And there it is, big round and point from Alice Karov. Elbows coming down now. Diego, the silencer, trying to control the head. If he can control the head, he can stop his opponent from posturing back and getting the leverage to land 
Hard, hard shots. Clinging on like a baby sloth clings to its mother upon a branch. That momentary pause of humility might have cost Ikram Alaskarov the finish, the immediate finish in the first round here. Diego looking for a high guard, maybe snatch an arm out of this. Trying to open up those hips. Nice work from Alaskarov, either being all the way in or all the way out. There we see him beckoning Diego Gonzalez to his feet. Very smart tactical move. By Ikram Alaskarov. Like every time Alaskarov throws that job, he gets his head off the center line and follows through with a beautiful straight. Diego Gonzalez still moving that head side to side. When he fails to, he gets clipped. Another flying knee attempt. Just shy for Ikram Alaskarov. Pretty much what Diego Gonzalez has been limited to is swinging wild overhands. Ekram Alaskarov having the fight all his own way in the main event here at Brave Combat Federation 33. Big shot by the silencer as the round closes. Phil, I think that was a very clear 10-9 round for Ekram Alaskarov. I think the highlight reel that we're going to see here, or the highlights of that first round are going to read like a highlight reel for Ikram Alaskarov. We see him there landing the step in knee. And pretty much from the he established his range, distance, and was pumping out that beautiful jab. The genesis of the majority of his ta attacks seem to come from the jab. Hopefully we see the one-two here that put Diego Gonzalez on his backside. Good movement from Alice Kerov. Just showing a real fluidity and diversity of attack. The hands, the knees, the kicks. There's the switch head kick. Two gentlemen wanted to go forward and touch hands. Dickie sent him back to their corners as he is supposed to do. There's a hand touch, show a brotherhood. Now they're gonna try and rough each other up. Alice Karov starting off the second round in very much the same fashion as he finished the first with some beautiful striking. Just fighting on the outside, landing at will, keeping Diego Gonzalez exactly where he wants him. So far silencing the silencer. Diego Gonzalez has taken a lot of damage, but he learned something from it. Unfortunately, from this position, he cannot use what he learned about his opponent's striking. The sheer tenacity with which Ikram Alaskarov shrugged off that takedown was beautiful. Be interesting to see, Phil, what kind of guard is employed by the silencer now. He can work a half guard, he can look for a knee shield, he can move to closed guard. It's very difficult to implement your submission game when you have somebody like Ikram Alaskarov punching you repeatedly in the head. It is, but if he does get a submission from bottom, it's going to come off guard. He's got the beginnings of a butterfly guard. Ikram keeping his hips so close that guard has no leverage yet. Only four of Diego Gonzalez's submission wins have come off of his back. Seems to be more of a submission specialist when he's in the positional ascendancy. Right now it's Ikram Alaskarov in the ascendancy, happy to land. Body, body, head, one of the oldest combinations on the ground. Ikram Alaskarov showing Brave Nation, how it's done. Needs to be wary of a potential triangle here, or the stuff of the arm down. Yes, 
Taggy Larkin calling for a little bit more action from both gentlemen. Double butterfly hooks. Pass to half guard again. <coughs> Generally, these defensive positional changes are not enough for you to allow the fight to continue on the ground indefinitely. Ikram Alas Karov just stalling any kind of momentum that Diego was trying to build upon, just landing shots, scoring points. And a very professional performance in the second round here from Ikram Alas Karov. Diego looking to return to that butterfly guard where he might be able to begin a sweep. You can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to hip in. He's turning in the right direction towards Alice Karov. Can he get his guard back? No, every time he's had, he's seen that little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. It's been shut down by Ekrem Alice Karov. There it is one more time. Just stuffs the knee down. And yes, these may look like short shots, but you can hear the ferocity with which they're landing. Gonzalez desperately trying to reclaim full guard and work from there. Diego getting lumped up, but he is not taking the, the kind of shots that he was from standing. These aren't full power shots with the hips behind him. They're causing a lot of soft tissue damage, not likely to effectuate a knockout. Nice work to completely shut down the offensive jiu-jitsu of Gonzalez by Ikram Aliskerov. Just constant methodical work here. Takes the back, may look, may even let him up just to take him down again. Huge knee to the thigh. Gonzalez does well to get back to his feet, but for how long? Less than a minute left in the round. Not sure what went wrong, may have been a low blow. Once again, that was absolutely not on purpose. Gromalas Karoff, perfectly clean fighter. Diego the Silencer said he could have been, could have taken five minutes, said nope, let's fight. So fight oh, they are. Beautiful street. You have to give Gonzalez credit for sticking in there and absorbing this kind of punishment when lesser fighters would have thrown on the tie line or checked out mentally a long time ago. But beautiful uppercut, fade away from Ikram Alas Karov. Seconds left in the second round here, folks. Ikram again in the ascendancy. No question about who won that round, Phil. Very solid round again from Ikram Aliskarov. Beautiful use of the wizard to shut down the takedown attempt from Gonzalez. And from there, he just landed. Hellacious ground and pound. It was the frequency of the shots, more so than any one singular shot that did die. There we Got see a replay of the pot shots. There we see that beautiful takedown defense from Ikram Alaskarov, utilizing that beautiful wrestling foundation, that sample foundation that he has. And from here, it was all about the the body, body, head work of Ikram Alaskarov. Just any time Diego tried to reclaim guard, it was completely shut down by Ikram Alaskarov. He is, without a doubt, exercising the demons of his last fight in the stellar performance in the main event of Brave Combat Federation 33 from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Decky removing a little bit of extra grease from the face, throwing it into the crowd. Fun souvenir for somebody in the front row. Touch of hands, back to battering. Diego may be looking for the takedown now. Oh, that's a beautiful no shattering job. Just even in the third round, he's popping it out with serious speed. Diego not winning the standing battle, wasn't winning when he had guard. His shot here. Oh, beautiful head down. Oh! Knee finish! What is Diego Gonzalez made of? That knee connected flush! 
one thing we can all agree upon is that Diego Gonzalez has a chin because that knee landed flush. The silencer is cut. Clean shot from Ikram Alaskarov. Now working body, body, head. But Diego Gonzalez is busted up. Especially in this position, the blood's going to be flowing back down his nose into his throat, making his breathing even harder. Blood now spreading to the top fighter. There is no quit in Diego, silencer, Gonzalez. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit frustrating for Ikram Alaskarov as well. He's thrown essentially everything at Gonzalez, but he's staying in there. I think his plan is to throw it again. Personally, I would like to see Ikram Alaskarov stand up. The guard's open. Stand up out of the guard. You're doing incredibly well standing. Tactically, I think that would be a wise thing to do. Very often, though, of course, fighters get into a, a pattern. Pattern's working for him. He isn't losing on the ground at all, so he's going to stay there. Continue to bloody his opponent. Well, he's not losing in any singular aspect of this and it, fight. And it's over. And that was... Decky Larkin called a, it. A mercy stoppage from referee Decky Larkin. The fight was going to continue very much in the same vein, but look at the face of Diego Gonzalez. Still smiling the entire way. Yeah, he is. He's a bad man. Huge respect to Diego, the silencer Gonzalez. And, of course, Monster respect to our main event winner, Ikram Alaskara from KHK. Looking at our Green Hill replay, we see some of the action from round two. That was a one-two that landed clean, but still, the silencer is unbound, and again, two and one. Uh, biggest shot of the main event, a left high kick, followed up by an even more devastating knee. That is five blows in a row. What does the silencer do? He looks for a leg lock. How tough is this man? And the answer is not as tough as Ikram Alaskarov, who continued an unrelenting, un- Yielding attack from the top. But what a combination that was. One, two, two, one, head kick. We see Alice Karoff now sinking those hips so close, the Jiu Jitsu guard is not useful. That particular guard requires a little bit of room. If you smother the opponent with those hips, there is no guard, and Decky Larkin kindly calls it a night. With that, let's take it up to. Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another great bout. This one comes to an end at two minutes and four seconds of the third round. Referee Decky Larkin calls about TKO due to strikes for your winner from KHK MMA, Ikram Alaskar.